We just saw Torn Banner's Mirage Arcane Warfare, and Torn Banner previously worked on Chivalry, Medieval Warfare, and before that, Age of Chivalry. And Mirage is a take on a similar idea, but with all magic, so that makes it unique in some ways. Still a multiplayer game, still got the nitty-gritty, meaty battle and all of that. But before getting to this content and our hands-on impressions, all of this coverage from PAX East 2016 is brought to you by CyberPower, who made the fan book that we recently overclocked past 4 gigahertz. So Mirage Arcane Warfare, we had a couple minutes on it for hands-on, and the trouble with this title is that it's not quite like something maybe like Call of Duty, which is more twitchy, and you can kind of pick up and instantly are familiar with just by nature of knowing the game series. So it's pretty tough to get a good hands-on impression while on a show floor. But we got some decent thoughts together between the two of us playing it, and at the core of Mirage, it's all about telegraphing attacks. So it's this idea that if I'm doing an attack against you of some kind, you should be able to, through skill and experience in the game, look at me and judge what type of attack I'm doing, how long it will take to be a threat to you, and things like that. And that comes through pretty well in gameplay, even within a few minutes on the show floor. So that is something you pick up pretty early. Now, acting on that definitely takes a bit of time and acquired skill, so that gives the game more of a skill ceiling. It's got some room to grow. And that also feeds into this steep learning curve. So it's not something you pick up immediately, as I said, not like a Call of Duty game. So it takes a bit to pick up. Now, in terms of the core mechanics, the map design was pretty well done. We liked how it was very almost Team Fortress 2-like in how obvious it was to go to one objective or the other. It's very easy to follow. The information conveyance was good. And all of that seemed to be in a pretty good place for the initial builds of the game. So for combat, that's where the meat of the game is. It's really just a multiplayer combat game, sort of a first-person slasher, not really a single-player game at all. And you've got a few main attacks. So left-click is your primary attack, right-click is a block, and that'll be used frequently. But for variations on the primary attack, you can sort of drag the mouse left or right, and that'll give you an arc. And that's just like in Chivalry Medieval Warfare. You drag it left, swing that way, and if you drag it right, right at the end of that arc, it'll go the other way. And so that starts comboing attacks and is really where the skill comes in for the game. But there's not a lot of melee in Mirage Arcane Warfare. As the name might suggest, it's more about Arcane Warfare. So the spells, you've got three spells in your hotbar and those change based on the class and there is progression where you can unlock different spells as you play and sort of somewhat advance your character in a persistent fashion. A lot of these characters have a spell that is a teleport to allow them to escape from dangerous situations pretty quickly or jump into them in the case of one of the brutes. And the rest of them have a mix of ranged spells, they have traps, they can lay bombs on the ground that are pretty useful as sort of proximity mines. And there's a hook shot, which reminds us of one of the Overwatch characters where you can pull an enemy in towards you. And all of these work pretty well. The it's, it's really tough to say the balance because we just didn't have enough time to talk about balance, but in terms of the feel, everything feels about right. The only real downsides to speak of, really Im immediately anyway, is the learning curve. So it takes a bit of time to get used to, and this isn't a downside so much as just a, a general observation, but it is a slower paced game. So if you don't like those, uh, this is maybe about the speed of Counter-Strike as opposed to Call of Duty, then you would want to stay away from Mirage. But overall, we liked the game. The mechanics felt fairly fluid and intuitive after a little bit of time playing it and would definitely progress to a uh, pretty high-skilled play. There is a match-making mode which will help keep you in the right group for your skill level based upon your performance in matches. And at the end of the day, the game is basically chivalry medieval warfare with magic. So if you're familiar with that game already and like it, you'll probably like this one. It's just more ranged and got some more high fantasy setting elements to it. So check out links in the description below for more information. As always, post post roll video will take you to the other coverage from PAX East 2016 or our Patreon page. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.